I'm going to talk to you today about how to set up a blog on your learning platform. Um, all the blogs on the learning platform at the moment are held within ePortfolios on the right hand side. And you can see where your resources are underneath your name. Yours might actually look a little bit different because you might have a circle with a picture inside it to, to navigate around that particular bar. I'm just going to make this a little bit larger so that you can see what I'm doing. And scroll back down to the middle. You'll see that when you're in your ePortfolio, it's showing up here in the cookie trail. And your resources is shown here in the cookie trail too. If you look at the menu options along the top here, you'll see there's a blue speech bubble with a B for add a blog. So I'm going to just click on that and I'm going to give it a really imaginative title along the lines of this is an example of a blog. And I'm just going to type in a brief description of it. It might be that this is a record of your children's learning. It might be that this is a record of um, your classwork. And because I want people to be able to uh, comment on my blog, I'm going to keep the box to allow comments ticked. And when I'm happy, I just add my blog. I can go back and I can edit the wording that goes with that at any point. However, this is only available at the moment to anybody who can look in my ePortfolio. So I want to take my blog and I want to copy it to somewhere that's a little bit more public and a little bit more accessible. So I'm going to tick the box next to it and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to copy the resource to another folder or group. And I'm actually intending to put this into my class page, my class is white class and there is a subgroup for the spring term 2011 so I'm just going to click on there and I'm going to click on the folder where it's going to be located and you can see that now I'm automatically directed to the white class area on the Spring 2011 group resources and you can see my blog is appearing here. However, you will notice that it's not yet appearing in the navigation bar on the left hand side and that is because it isn't public, it's not live at the moment. When you copy a resource to a different folder, you do need to go and edit the publicity settings so that um, whoever it is that you want to be able to see the resource can access it. So as in, as with um, lots of other tools on the learning platform, if you see a white sheet with a red pen, you click on it if you want to edit. So you can see I can change my title and so on. And all I'm going to do is change my access restrictions. So I'm actually not going to make it just so that Group members can see it. I'm going to make it a public blog so that anybody can access this. You can see my blog description is there, so I could change that. And then I'm going to just scroll down. I've already said that anybody can post on there and that they don't require validation to do that. I'm just going to save the, the settings. And now you can see my blog is appearing on the left hand side. It looks like a symbol for a forum here, but if you click on it, you will see that it still shows up as a normal blog. And that can then be accessed by the people in the class that you've given that those rights to and they can start to add their own comments about the day. This is the thing yeah. And once you're happy with your entry, you can add that to the blog. And anybody who wishes to comment on it simply clicks on the blue comment area, provided they're logged in, they should be able to add a post to that so they can add their comments. And of course, feedback would be far more constructive than just saying, well done. 
And if we go back to our blog now, you should be able to see that the entry is still there, the comment is easy to click on and to see.